If you exit the game without spending a token, you will lose everything that has been changed. Quite absurd. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, guys? It's me, Proto Buffers, and today I'm going to show you how to mod Percent and Borderlands 2 and the free sequel on PS4. This should also apply to PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. Of course, on PC and Xbox 360, you have the option to use a profile editor, which is a lot easier than trying to do it this method because we will be using a real time memory editor for this. So the first thing you want to do is boot up your game. Before we start, uh, you will know I am on version 1.0. It does differ from version to version and you will need an exploited PlayStation 4 in order to even start because you'll need to use the RTM. You will need a PS4 9.0 or lower as these are the only exploitable versions. Currently though, the OFW is 9.03, which is the only firmware that cannot use this. And we're going to start with Borderlands 2, because it is just a tad bit easier than the pre-sequel. So, once your game's booted, go ahead and open your exploit menu. For this, I'll just be using the user's guide from Alazif. Start bin loader. If you want, you can use gold tin. Send the payload to your PS4. No, oh, an important note, we will be using a brand new profile and a brand new character save for this. Alright, and once you finally spawn in, you're going to go ahead and switch back to the PC. You're going to hit refresh and find magnolia.elf. The first place you're going to want to look for is a non-zero and make sure it's the uh, larger file and not the small 64 kilobit file. And you're going to want to make sure that you're searching for the value of zero. This is going to be your uh, badass tokens. And this is the uh, first thing that we're going to look for as it's going to be the easiest thing to help us move along. And after you scan, just go ahead and hit next scan about three to four more times. All right, now that the scan's complete, we're going to go back to the game. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and pick up your first badass token. So now on PC, what we're going to want to do is change a 0 to a 1 to match the badass tokens that we have. Go ahead and hit next scan. The results are dramatically lowered, so we're just going to hit scan next a few more times. We've got the value down to 29. So what you're going to want to do once you get that value low, you're just going to want to go ahead and redeem a token. It doesn't matter what you choose. Just go ahead and spend it to get the token back down to 0 changes value to zero make sure you unpause your game to update the value within the game you can pause right after again it doesn't matter and then just hit the next scan what we're gonna want to do is go one at a time and go from zero to one because anything more can sometimes crash your game to open and close this menu every time you change the value value one here open and it didn't change so we're not going to use that value so what you do is grab your next value change it to one uh, again, you're going to close and open your menu and nothing, but we can delete that and go to number three and change the value to a one. Close and open once more and there we go. We now have the value of one. Just change this value to anything you want. The max value that it will display is 9,999,999 and as you can see in game it will change. So. You're wondering why we did the tokens first? Well, we're going to be using tokens to uh, spend and we're going to use the uh, tokens to get the rank. To find the rank, what you're going to do is right click and go to hex editor. And Reaper, this will be different. You will have to find the address and then change it in lifetime. So the uh, baddest rank it goes up in values of five and here it is this is not the static address it will change every time but here you can change it so if we just want to set it back down to zero you just hit zero and then commit whenever you get back to game just close and open and you'll be back down to zero so now that you have your tokens it's time to start spending what we're going to do is try and fill up at least one token in every value so once you have tokens and everything, I spent 100 tokens, we're going to go back to the PC. And you're going to open the OSX tool that's going to bring you to Google Sheets that I have linked in the description. It's going to bring you to the Borderlands 2 and PreSQL calculator. So if you ever do decide to just, just go back and spend tokens, you can change your rank and see what it would be here. Here we have how many tokens you've spent on one specific 
So if you know the exact value of tokens spent, you can enter that here. So if we just say we spent six tokens, you can see that is in game value 3.8. Now here is the uh, bonus percent, the amount of uh, tokens you will have spent getting this value and the uh, four byte value that you'll need to search for when searching for the uh, percent value. So what we have here is six and this is the uh, lowest value that we have on screen currently is 3.8 so we're going to remember six and the highest value that we have is 5.2 and that would be value nine go to new scan we're going to switch to between value and we're going to search between six and nine click first scan and now we have some results so what we're gonna do is go back to the game and spend more tokens and here we are i've spent another 100 tokens type in the new value so our lowest value on screen is 6.8 so 13 and our highest value is 8.0 so 16. Here, now what we're going to do is look between 13 and 16. I click next scan and now we have 51 results. You know when you see it because you'll see about 14 values that look almost identical across so what we have here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. As you can see, it goes from a four D to five four here. However, this should be what we're looking for, so we're just gonna go ahead and test it out. We're gonna change this fourteen to nine nine nine. And now whenever we open our menu in game, as you can see, it's the health, which is the first thing that we grabbed, and it is the value of 177.7%. So now what we can do is we can find the values that we want for all of these. I just went ahead and labeled everything really quick so you can see what everything is and that it is in order. So what you can do with this is go to the OSX tool and just choose whatever percent that you want. So let's say we want 1 million percent in our health and then we take our four byte value we just put in 10 mil and there it is i am not going to provide a list for the pointers or anything because i would have to do it for two separate games on multiple different versions on multiple different firmwares and that would take way too much time and i don't even own a 5.05 .05 console to start exceeding the maximum 32-bit integers so what right, i'm going to show you here is the uh, max health that the game should allow so as you can see, there is still a health. Whenever we exceed the cap, so let's change that seven to an eight, you'll see that the value is completely gone. And whenever we open, our health is no longer there. This applies on multiple values. So as you can see here, we have no shield. However, the game will permanently give us a shield. So in theory, if you used to use something like a Rough Rider, you would still technically have a shield. So there's no way that you could use a Breakneck Banshee using this. So if you do mod, you should go for health as it will give you true god mode, unlike the shield, which only gives you demi god. Your reload does not exceed that value as well, or else you will never be able to reload your gun. It just will do nothing. And once you get on pre-sequel, what you're going to do is go to arbitus.elf. And this time, instead of selecting just zero, we're going to select zero and one because the memory is a little janky in this game. So once you load in the game, you just want to do the same thing. Go over to PC, hit zero for the value and first scan again we're just going to keep hitting next scan so after a few scans you can just go ahead and find a way to get a uh, badass rank i suggest going for headshots okay and as you can see here i got my first badass token so what we're gonna do is go back to pc change our value to a one and hit next scan the value dropped by a lot but we're gonna have to keep hitting a next scan spin your token doesn't matter what you spend it on go back to pc and we're going to change this value back to zero and hit next scan see the value went down to 10 9 and that's basically as low as we're going to get it so let's start at the top we're just going to go from zero to one to make sure that the game won't crash so zero one And after you change it in the game to check, just open your menu. It didn't work, so we're going to close the menu. 
I'm going to delete this value and go to the next one. Change this value to 1. Open your menu and the value changed. So now we have our tokens. The max shown value is 9,999,999. So that's the value we're going to set it to. And close and open. Now from here, we're just going to have to fill up all of our stats. So just spend about 100 tokens or so. We're going to be going to the OSX sheet that I made, and we're going to be looking for our lowest and highest percent that we have. So I have 3.8, which is the value of 6, and the value of 4.8, which is 8. So I'm going to open up Cheater, hit New Scan, between value of 6 and 8. Hit First Scan. So now that we have those values, we're going to go back in game and spend about another 100 tokens. Our lowest value I see is 6.8, which is 13. And our highest value is 8.0. So now we're going to want to do is 13 and 16 and hit next scan. Looks like there's only 13 here, so we might have missed a 1 by accident. Might have been a value off. So what we'll do is we'll just test them out. So we'll change everything to 5. Then we'll look back on the game to see what didn't change. So this time we didn't grab the fire rate, it looks like. The value that we would have in fire rate normally, which would be the 10.5, which is equal to 23. So what we're gonna do is look for an exact value, new scan and 23. And we have a 9,000 results. So what we wanna do is spend a fire rate tokens inside of the game. So just keep spending tokens. Since we have the other values, it doesn't matter. We just wanna increase the fire rate value. However, the game will do its best to balance them out. So you might want to make the values higher than the one you're looking for. And just going the value up by one, we was able to find it. So changing that also. So now we have everything except the fire rate is not in the normal order of everything else. But we can change all of our percent values here. So we can just open up our calculator again. And we can look up... Uh, different number let's do uh, one two three four five six which is the same value as six one four seven two seven nine is what it's going to be in game how many tokens you spent as you can see one two three four five six just as we wanted however it looks like the shield delay and recharge rate is off that will happen sometimes one important thing for both games is that you will have to spin the token and then you can just triple tap the triangle button for the game to save and that will save this profile if you exit the game without spending a token you will lose all everything that has been changed thank you for watching uh if you like the video come back for more i have other types of content if you would like to see that i just played gta with my friends on a live stream yesterday I had a fantastic time as always go watch that i have funny videos more informational videos especially about borderlands make sure to check out the rest of the channel make sure to subscribe like and i'll see you later